Space month. Many people have gotten into day trading, really have no idea exactly what they're doing. It's something that they're trying to figure their way as they go. And be prepared to lose 80 to 90% of it. There's no panic selling. These people, you know, they may have bought at $4, sat through $400, went back to $40, went to $350, back down to $110, and they've not sold. All they've done is bought more. And there's no answer for that. There's no, they, they, you know, it, it is like art of war mastery by a bunch of idiots who should know better. Uh, so right now the claim to ownership uh, for institutions is around 200%. So that means institutions think they own say 140 million shares, but there's only 70 million shares of existence. The volume being shown with GameStop being traded is mostly counterfeit shares that should not exist going back and forth. And the only way Citadel can clear that is to either find a physical share and replace that counterfeit or buy it back from you. The, the apes, as they call themselves on on uh, Reddit, they don't behave in a rational market. They, you know, when, when the price goes up, you sell. When the price goes down, you panic and you sell. All they do is they buy and hold, and they aren't. They are not obeying these normal market uh, 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 rules. You know, they may have bought at four dollars, sat through four hundred dollars, went back to forty, went to three fifty, back down to one hundred and ten, and they have not sold. And you've got maybe ten million people doing this, who now own, you know, probably more than a hundred million shares, and. Eventually, you know, they might own everything. Would your time staring at Robin Hood be, be better spent somewhere else? That is the real capital destruction that is taking place here. Is it your testimony after Robin Hood paid the SEC $65 million to settle those charges? that this conflict of interest is in your customer's best interest, yes or no? I was born in Bulgaria. You had a Robin Hood account on margin and you made a terrible bet, Robin Hood just liquidates what you have and pays themselves. The same thing happens to, you know, uh, uh, Citadel in this case, or Melvin or whoever else has shorted Susquehanna. Uh, and they go until that all their assets are to zero. And once those assets go to zero and there's still money owned, that's when the insurance kicks in. So the clearinghouse now has to use their substantial $67 trillion insurance policy to now balance these books. The trading computers at the, at the, the clearinghouse, they don't care about price. You know, oh, okay, there's a million for sale at $1,000 share, buy all those. Okay, now there's two million at $1,000 and one cent, buy all those. Now there's 500,000 at $1,000 and three cents, buy all those. And they're just gonna work their way up. I fully believe that there might be some weird, you know, nanosecond where the only share available is some some guy who put it for four hundred and twenty million dollars, and you know he sells three shares at at that price just ridiculously because that instant is the only moment there's a share listed available, and you know that would be the absolute king peak of the squeeze.